Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you very much for being here. It's so nice to see you. I wanted to start a new journal or a new insert in my traveler's notebook, and I thought I would share with you this process. I'm going to try and steer away from the topic that I'm journaling about, um, but yeah, I think I might do a separate video uh, for those that are not really interested in knitting and my crochet journey. I might do a separate video so that you don't have to listen to me talk about yarns and things. But yeah, I thought I would start a new journal insert. This uh, insert is from Traveler's Company. It was part of their, I want to say it was part of their 10th anniversary release. Um, they had these set of inserts uh, released, sorry, the 10th anniversary of, I think, Traveler's Factory, because I think they were only available from the Traveler's Factory stores. They're no longer available, unfortunately. They might, actually, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think they will be releasing them again, because this was quite a while ago, but uh, yes, so I decided to keep the coral cover one for myself and journal about my uh, knitting and crochet journey. I know I post a lot of journal with me sessions about, you know, if I travel somewhere or um, about if I go eat somewhere or, of course, my kids and my family and my everyday life. I share with you my journals uh, here on YouTube and I think it's, it's absolutely fine to have journals about your passions or your uh, other hobbies as well. I know people have journals about maybe maybe you have a reading journal, um, books that you've read, maybe you have a journal about some movies that you watched or TV shows or I think in the previous video somebody mentioned they had a, a tarot card journal as well and so I think there's absolutely no rules as to what kind of or what you want to journal about. Maybe you have pets that you want to you know take pictures of and you want to journal about your pets it's it's your journal and uh, there's no rules what you want to put in it um, even the commonplace journal people will put things what it, like whatever they they fancy they will put in their commonplace journal for myself I felt like um, there was I, I needed a notebook to keep my thoughts in place like I would have all these tags and yarns and um, the sizing of the needles especially. I'm, I'm located in Japan so the sizing of the needles is different and so I would always be referring to that. I'm still very much a beginner in terms of knitting so I would always be referring to the needle sizes and uh, I use a lot of the, I look at, not use, but I, I look at a lot of the patterns and so um, the, they're US patterns so a lot of the sizing is different or the needle sizing is different so I needed a place to keep my thoughts in track or keep my thoughts and uh, yeah just keep them organized in one place instead of having uh, scrap pieces of paper here and there sometimes I would have the information on my phone and I just want to, I wanted a journal <laughs> to uh, keep track of that so yeah, I started a insert and um, I printed out the needle sizes, the various needle sizes in Japanese and in the US size as well. I made a purchase of some used knitting needles, like a set of knitting needles and uh, crochet hooks and things. And I was so happy to be able to purchase this set. It was only like around $20 and to be able to rehouse or reuse, give these kneading needles another home made me very happy. Um, yeah, I think I will do a separate video about knitting and crochet and my journey with that because I'm very passionate about it right now. I don't know, maybe it's, it's funny because I hear a lot of people don't really like to knit in the heat. I think it's the, I don't know, I have a hard time sleeping well in the humidity and heat and I, I tend to get up or unable to sleep and then I'll knit and do something <laughs> um, instead of journaling so I've been enjoying that uh, this year or this summer 
I'm just stamping on uh, a title. I used the classic -y tape and stuck that down and decided to stamp a title. I like to stamp off the excess ink. I do this often. You've seen, if you've been around, you've seen me do this quite often. I'll take my other journal, the Hobonichi Techo in this case, and then I'll just stamp off the excess ink onto that page instead of, um, I didn't have any wipes close by, but I, I always end up doing this anyways. It adds a nice little fun decorative border in my Hobonichi Techo and the because of the ink, the original ink is already on the title, the second generation stamp the ink is a lot lighter and you can create this fun scramble alphabet border. <laughs> so I'm just doing that and um, stamping out the title there. I think I wrote uh, first purchase is, yeah, the first purchase was these knitting needles and um, I'm just using the, you can't see the, the screen is cut off there, but I'm using the Shachihata alphabet stamps from uh, they're available for purchase at the stationery selection. We also started uh, selling the size 2, which is slightly bigger, uh, alphabet. The one that I'm using here is the original size that we had before. I'll, I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested. And then I wrote, um, I used a Sharpie. And the Sharpie kind of bled through to the other page, but you'll see later on in the video that it it doesn't really, it gets covered up so it's not like a huge deal. This is one of the first um, items that I started working on. The first one is the market bag, uh, but I won't go into much too detail there. And then the second, one of the second things that I did was the sock and I've decided to keep all of the packaging and labeling so that I can keep track and remember with the different yarns because I'm, I'm still, like I said, I'm still quite new to the hobby and I just want to keep my thoughts organized <laughs> and I want to be able to look at the photo and remember, oh right, this is what happened or this is how I felt about this yarn. Um, this is the needle, the, the needle size I was using and I felt that maybe it was too slippery. Like I just wanted to keep just some simple notes to myself uh, onto, onto paper. I know there is a website called Ravelry and many people keep their notes electronically on there. I suppose I could do the same. I, I, I think I'm just kind of old fashioned in that sense. I, I really like to just write, write it down. <laughs> I don't want to have to take out my phone and log into Ravelry and uh, type it out. I would just rather keep it in a notebook so that if I want to take a look at it, I'll just open my notebook. <laughs> and yeah, I just like the process of writing. So um, yes, so I've, I've decided to keep this uh, notebook insert. In terms of patterns and things, I will uh, have to share with you in a, a separate video, but I've decided to keep it separate. Uh, I was originally going to put the patterns together in this insert, but then it would get way too bulky. Here I am using Courtney Diaz, Little Raven Ink, her Patreon printables from August. I think this one is from August. It's one of her background uh, pages, and I love her background pages very, very much. They're very versatile. You can see I'm creating, I've decided to create like a border. Um, so for those of you, I know some people use like very thick washi tape to create these nice borders. Um, but yeah, the background pages are so versatile because you can make whatever shape that you need. And in this case, I decided to create this nice colorful border for the page. And uh, I printed it on the tracing paper from Daiso. It's very thin and I, I think in Australia the tracing paper is more like acetate or not acetate, vellum, sorry. And it's definitely not vellum. Uh, the tracing paper from Daiso is very, very thin. Daiso is like a dollar store. It's a Hyakuen shop. And there's 20 sheets in one pack. 
And yeah, I, I made a small little video sharing with you my process, so I'll leave that linked down below. So just be careful uh, with the tracing paper. It might jam your printer, so be, please be careful um, if you are deciding to do that. I'll share with you my process. Uh, I share with you my process in a video of how to avoid or lessen the risk of jamming up the printer, but um, anyways, back to the journaling process. I ended up uh, taking a photo of myself after I have, after I wound the ball of yarn by hand. It was a very long process. Uh, it was lace weight yarn and I wanted to cut out that silhouette. I think it's very impactful that way instead of having the whole background like a square photo I decided to cut it out and yeah I like how it kind of peeks out and I'm sticking the information of the what is this called the label and the business card I'm having a lot of fun finding indie dye yarn yarn indie yarn sorry what am I what am I trying to say <laughs> artist dyers or indie yarn dyers here in Japan <laughs> um, and I've decided to keep the scrap yarn here I was originally going to staple it uh, I later decided to just uh, washi tape it on so that if I wanted to remove it later well I suppose you can remove it later even if you staple it down but um, yeah I decided to just washi tape it in I think it's nice to remember the the yarn and how it looks and how it feels. I need to take a photo of the finished project. I'm almost finished working with this Mythica Fibers yarn. I started uh, knitting up Dotted Rays by Stephen West and I did a contrast, uh, what is it called, the I-Cord edge <laughs> i-cord bind off i think that's the terminology um but yeah i'm i just i'm at the last six stitches and i think you're supposed to do a kitchener stitch and i'm not comfortable with that so i, I need to look at some videos um but yeah i think i want to also um once i finish this i'll i'll have to do it off camera but i want to take a photo of that and journal about the knitting process and how i felt about the yarn this rub-on is from Hours Studio, Hank's Diary, and I purchased it directly from Hours Studio from Taiwan. And I'm almost finished these rub-ons. I think I only have three, two, three left, but I ended up using some in the Hobonichi, which I don't think I filmed. Um, so I think I'm going to have to make another order soon. I've also clipped on the Opal packaging with just one of those smiley clips. I did a haul video, I think it was a while back, but I purchased some things from Cult Pens a long time ago and they included the some of these smiley clip um, paper clips and I thought it was nice to kind of clip that on. It does it doesn't add too much bulk. It's a nice it's a nice and thin clip but it does um, buckle a little bit. I forgot to mention these cute little, they're kind of like kita strips. These ones are also from Courtney Diaz, but the ones that you see in the video I think are from several months ago. I ended up printing it on sticker paper from Daiso. And then here once again I'm just stamping out a, the, I've decided to stamp out the tile for this uh, spread as well. And <laughs> I've opened up my Hobonichi in, uh, to the August page and decided to use one of the photos from there and once again I am stamping off to the side then I decided to grab the uh, it's a sign pen um, but it's in like a light gray uh, ink and yeah I decided to just kind of add a bit more doodles and some stars, some little dots and dashes to create a fun little border and I have kind of moved that across to the other side of the page as well to have it consistent and coherent and 
Yeah, I felt like it was missing the, the on the left-hand side there, I felt like that writing area was missing something, so I added some lines and um, added more of those stars. So this is how it's starting to look like. The, I guess, the knitting slash crocheting uh, project journal. And as I mentioned, I will most likely print out the finished items. I will print out the photos of the finished items and journal about that process as well. I should probably start a Ravelry. I, I do have a Ravelry, but I don't really keep any notes on there. Um, but like I said, I'm very old-fashioned and I, I just like to journal them instead <laughs> instead of having to log in and stuff like that and open up my computer or cell phone. I will do a separate video if you're interested. Um, if you want to see a close-up of my finished stuff, um, I would be more than happy to share with you my finished projects of the knitting and the crochet, but I really don't want to take away too much from this channel, so I'll have to make a separate video. Okay, so I think that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, like I said, please don't feel like you have to journal about your travels or about you know your daily life. If it's a hobby that you have and that you're very passionate about, open up a new journal or even keep the same journal that you have and just write your experience, write your thoughts, how this hobby makes you feel. You don't have to journal about what everybody else is journaling about. Make it your own and I hope that process is a fun and relaxing journey for you. Um, this is very fun for me so this is why I'm uh, sharing it with you and so I hope that inspires you in some way. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope to see you soon. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.